Hello, I'm Dr. Lorene Wisham, and I wanted to come to you just for a few minutes today to uh, share um, a fundraising process. And by the way, I am a, uh, a nonprofit, small business, healthy lifestyle expert. So I want to talk about what does that fundraising process look like? Well, there are four components to the fundraising process. There's the first part of it, which is the prospecting. The second part is the cultivation. The third part is the ask. And of course, the fourth part is the stewardship. So let's take a look at the first part, which is the prospecting. What does that really mean? That's when you want to bring in more donors so that obviously your nonprofit can have more funding. All nonprofits should have those donors that are giving, whether it's once a month, every quarter, uh, every six months, or once a year. But you've got to keep feeding the funnel. So what you want to do is to seek out new prospects, and that's what we call them prospects. So that means when you meet someone, you're going to talk to them about the nonprofit. You're not going to sit there and ask questions like, well, what do you think of nonprofits? No, I, I'm sorry, that was not a good answer. What I want you to do is don't ask uh, questions where they give a yes or a no answer. Here's a better example. Uh, do you ever donate? What stands going to be yes? Do you ever give to nonprofits? Yes. Oh. So that's a yes or no question. You haven't engaged them. But what you really want to do is to ask questions that are open-ended so that you can get them to talking. And once you get them to talking, that opens up the door for you to start to share what your nonprofit is doing. So, for example, here's a question that I uh, made a note of. What other charities, what charities do you support? This way, they're now going to say, well, I support A or I support B, and they're going to start talking about it. Then your next question could be, why did you uh, pick uh, ABC to support? This is going to help you to understand the types of giving that they do, the types of things that they enjoy. So it's called the whole, it's the prospecting process. That's getting to know them to see if that is a good match. And if you think that it is, then you move them along to the next step, which is cultivation. So in the cultivation stage, this is where you're actually trying to build that relationship. You're not asking for anything. We're not at the ask stage yet. We found them as a prospect. We started the initial conversation. We felt like they would be a good prospect or a good match for the nonprofit. So we're kind of moving them along to the next phase in which the next phase we're cultivating. We're getting to know them. We're letting them get to know who I am. We're letting them to know more about what the nonprofit is doing. So, And this could take over a period of time. It could be a couple of months. It could be depending on how often you talk to them, how often you're communicating. But it's a process that you don't want to rush. You want to take the time to cultivate them, you know, find out if they have any concerns, you know, what are their likes, what are their dislikes, do they possibly want to be a volunteer? I mean, take the time to get to know them. And then the third phase is now you're ready to do the ask. Okay, so now you've they came in as a prospect, you felt like that was a good match, and it was, so then you moved them along to um, the cultivation uh, phase, and that's where you all started to build uh, the relationships. You, you got to know them. They got to know the nonprofit. Now you're in a position to ask them for a donation. Or even to start off, ask them their opinion. You know, people, we always love to give opinions. So even before that money asked, why not ask them for advice, their opinion, maybe ask them to volunteer for a couple of hours, then do the money ask. And then the fourth part of the fun fundraising process is the stewardship. So you're thinking stewardship, how is that different from cultivation? Well, it's very simple. When you cultivate, you're building that relationship. In the stewardship process, you are letting them know that 
because you gave this, this is the impact that it had. This is the outcome. This is the number of people we were able to serve. This is what we did. So stewardship is letting them know how important they are, how important their gift was, their donation that they made. And this way, it's also saying what else that we it opens up the door for them to even possibly ask, well, what else can you need? What else do you need? I know other people. Maybe I can talk to them about the nonprofit. So it's that whole stewardship where they've given, but you're giving them back information that will let them know how much you appreciated their gift, what a difference it made. So let's go over the four steps again. First is the prospect, where you identify this person as possibly being a good match for the nonprofit. The second is the cultivation. This is where you get to know them, they get to know you as a nonprofit leader, they get to know what your board is doing, they get to know the cause that you are passionate about. The third phase is where you actually do the ask. And that can be start off, it could be maybe asking them to volunteer. Uh, then you can move into the money, however you feel comfortable. And then the fourth stage is the stewardship, where you're letting them know that because you gave X amount of dollars, this is what it did. These were the number of children we were able to help, or whatever it is that your nonprofit does. So that's kind of the whole process. I kind of want to read you something. So, um, oh. The process of, so when you think about uh, the fundraising process, a lot of people will say, well, you know what, the hardest thing for me is the prospecting. Where do I find it? You find them every place you go. You may find them in your church. You may find them if you're still working part-time. They could be in your workplace. If you're part of different organizations, you will find them there. Wherever there are people there's the potential for that person to be uh, a prospect for your nonprofit. So you just got to start the conversation, just find out where they are, but always be uh, in that mode of looking for people that will be potential prospects so that you can move them from being a prospect to the cultivation, to the ask, and then to the stewardship phase of fundraising. I hope that that did help you. So now you've got the four stages. You now know where to start to move to people. Remember, we're getting ready to move into fourth quarter, and that's the biggest giving season. So now is the time to start to prospect, then you cultivate, then you make the ask, and then there's the stewardship. I hope that this has been helpful for you. I'm Dr. Loreen, your nonprofit small business healthy lifestyle expert. Have a great rest of your day and don't forget, look for those prospects. Your nonprofit is going to need them. Thanks so much. Bye bye.